what has happened here is that I've put swirl marks all through the front of the bike. <laughs> one way to start a video so anyway my usual intro hi guys and welcome back and welcome to what is going to be an action-packed day ahead I'm just about to depart in my newly wrapped Audi R8 I promise you I won't keep saying Audi R8 V10 plus and I also won't keep saying my newly wrapped purple crane blah 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 but I still am just getting used to it uh, this is the first time I rolled it out the garage this morning it shocked me to be honest it has totally shocked me every angle I look at it is is just incredible and when I drove the car last night actually people were telling me that the car sort of changes in different lights at night it's quite interesting anyway I'm waffling on what is going on today I'm going to the Warren classic and supercar event I am leading the supercar parade into the event that they've chosen the wrong guy not only that I'm meeting up with my friend Josh on the way down in his crazy BMW M4 it looks amazing my favorite BMW M4 that has ever existed and uh, we're gonna cruise on down together he's part of that parade but he's not a supercar but yeah you know what I'm going with this one anyway Let's jump in the Audi R8 and head on our way to what is going to be an awesome day. Okay, so I'm now en route, which means drive select to comfort. Something I did want to address, and a lot of people do ask me, like on the motorway, everyone stares so much at this car. Now that it does have this very bright wrap on it, it's very different. It really is different and something I'm getting used to the whole time because the Corvette, when I drove the Corvette, on the road, people would stare at it going, what is that? Like, that is just like, I've never seen one of them before, what is it? This is, a, it's a different kind of reaction because people online, where I'm going with this is that pe some people online don't like it. It's simple. It's a very bold wrap and me and Dub Customs wanted something bold and different and uh, we thought that this would be the perfect fit. In person, even the older generation come up to you and like, wow, that is such a nice color. Have I made a huge mistake wrapping it purple chrome? Why would I have made a mistake? I, I love this car. I think it's great. I think it's something different. It's not gonna stay here forever. So when people are saying, oh, you've ruined your car, the car's not ruined, this is a wrap, the wrap comes off, and it's everything's changeable. So for now, it is staying purple chrome. I haven't made a mistake. I love it, I enjoy it, I love driving on the road. Okay, so the clip you were just seeing was me driving in the R8, and things have kind of changed a little bit since then because I've been a bit of an idiot, and I thought I would tell you guys what has happened here. Basically, what has happened is that I detailed the car with some spray just to clean it, just to get a bit of shine on it when the car was dirty after I drove back from Dub Customs. And what has happened here is that I've put swirl marks all through the front of the bonnet. I know you're gonna think I'm an idiot. I'm well aware of that, but it's very, very easy to do. And I wasn't told how delicate chrome was. I knew it was, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. So what's gonna have to happen is that we're going to have to replace the front bonnet where the swell marks are. I've messed up bad and now everyone makes mistakes, but it was just one of those things that I saw the car was dirty on the front, so I thought, oh, I better clean it, da 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 And what I should have done is I should have washed the whole car and I should have properly gone through it thoroughly, but I was in a rush. The wrap was so pristine when I left and then now I'm already having to replace something. So if anyone's wrapping a car chrome, um, just be aware that it is very, very difficult to maintain. What we were gonna do initially was put PPF over the top of the chrome, but we ran out of time. But I think that is what I'm gonna to need to do. Lesson learnt, and uh, it's time to get this wrap fixed. Anyway, let's continue back to the original footage and head on our way back to the Warren Classic and Supercar event. How mad is that looking? It's the first time I'm gonna fuel it with the wrap. I thought I'd just all let you know. But I just wanted to quickly jump out and show you. When I got out, I saw it. I was just like, that is just absolutely crazy. You can see my reflection so much. Um, let's go around to the front so you can see it. That sat there, honestly. Why would I regret getting that? That is just the coolest thing. <laughs> it's mad. So what I'm actually waiting for is Josh now to turn up in his BMW M4 and he's gonna get a bit of a surprise when he sees this car because he hasn't seen it with this wrap. And he spent a lot of time with the R8 in the blue and he was always like, yeah, I like the blue, don't change it. And uh, yeah, look what I've, look what I've done. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too long because we are running a little bit late to this event and I don't want to be late because I'm leading the supercar convoy in apparently. Whether it will happen, things change all the time, but uh, hopefully that will happen. Here I am, 
sipping on a drink. It's so funny how you can see me so clearly. The only negative about this wrap is that the fingerprint marks are quite bad. While I was just waiting around, this kind gentleman has given me two energy drinks to take some photos. Very kind man. I, d I didn't just accept these, by the way. He made me have them. Do you like the car? I do like the car. That's what caught my eye, actually. Yeah, it is bright, isn't it? Yes. It's, uh... <laughs> Exciting. Some people don't like it, by the way. I think the sun's actually. The sun's on it, yeah, exactly. But thank you very much. I can hear him. I can see him. Here he is. He is arriving. His wrap looking mega as always. Look at that. <laughs> I always say it, but his M4 does look absolutely ridiculous. And this at night changes colour constantly with the wrap. Is it changing colour now? No, it's very green. Oh, there you go. There's a little bit. How cool is that, having them both lined up together? That is seriously cool. Hello. <laughs> it's a little bit different. I do apologise. What do you reckon? Wow. It is good, better in person, isn't it? It's mad in person. <laughs> it is quite... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you weren't sure. I Tell me your cool. honest opinion. I thought you made a big mistake. Yeah, and now? Cool. This is what happens when he just turns up, cleans his cars constantly. Paul, Paul will understand. Yeah, he would understand, but can you do it to mine? Well, look, don't take the piss if you want some. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, keep going. There okay. we go. Very good job. One done, one down. <laughs> right. That's a fiver. The tyre writing is actually, I'm pleased it's still on there. We are cruising. How cool does Josh's M4 look? I just keep looking at it, just sat there, just like, oh my god. It looks mega. <laughs> Look at that colour. That is just epic. There's no music to this bit, so uh, I'll sing you a song. Da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. So it's now time to head in. We are all lined up and ready to go. There is a vast mixture of cars here, so it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so we have quickly pulled up. Our rate is at the front, and if we walk through, you can just see that we're all parked up. Look at the back of this Lamborghini. Look at the number plate. My reflection goes, love you. Fair enough. If we cruise on through, Josh is here. Well, if you see here, we have a McLaren. We have a Ferrari. For... That yeah, that, that, nice that is nice. But what I'm actually getting at here is that you're very... Um... Not really. <laughs> I should be over there with the other M4. But you were saying that your M4 that is here yeah. is probably quicker yeah. than... A lot of these cars. Yeah. It's not going to be quicker than that. No. Or that. Or that. But maybe the Gardo. You reckon the Gardo? I reckon. Gearbox is rubbish. Sorry. <laughs> we're just driving in now, which is part of the Super Off Car Parade, as I gave her a bump. So this could be quite busy. We are told there are a lot of people that are, you know, wanting to see the cars, which is cool. So, this is crazy. Actually, look how many people are here. How's it going? Come on, mate. This is so crazy. I can't believe how many people are here. This is mad. All right. All right, how's it going? We are inside the event and I found Dub Customs and uh, a very cool GTR. I don't know if you guys have actually seen this GTR before, but it's seriously cool in this sort of matte blue color. Different to how that was. Look what we found as well. The uh, A45, when that was wrapped blue, that's what I'm saying. Um, it's a, that is a satin chrome blue, um, but I really like it. I think it just looks really good. But yeah, the A45 is here and uh, getting a bit of love. Uh, but it's cool actually just to see it on display. We also have a BMW M4 competition pack and Paul Wallace's BMW M3, which is on display as well. As we're walking through the event, what I thought I would do is I would play to music what is here so you guys at home can sort of see what is at the Warren Classic and Supercar because a lot of cool cars have come out today. So here you go to music of the cars that hit today. So we're just quickly having a walk through the event. There are some very cool cars that are here, aren't there, Josh? There are. Name one. LaFerrari, done. Lots yeah. of classics. 
GT40. Uh, GT40. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. That is really cool. Yeah, I genuinely, that is seriously nice. Next car, uh, potentially? Mm, what do you reckon? Maybe, maybe. Behind me, in the last video, I showed you all the F12 TBF and also the three Enzos are here as well. They're all lined up on display, which is pretty awesome. It is a sight that is absolutely incredible to see. TDF is probably one of my favorite cars, like I've mentioned before, but having three Enzos just lined up is, uh, is pretty awesome as uh, someone is singing behind us. It has been a really, really cool day and so busy. Look how many people have turned up to this event. It's been pretty incredible. And uh, yeah, just classic casual stuff behind me, just like that. So have a look at this Carrera GT, which has just rocked up. That is seriously nice. Probably one of the best sounding cars. And also, let's go through here. This does look seriously cool. Look at that. So we have literally come to the end of the day here. What we have done to end the day, my hair's going a little bit crazy, sorry about that. Anyway, we've put the Audi R8 alongside Josh's M4. How cool do they look together? The R8 had fingerprints all over it just because <laughs> people were just touching just it. Touch all the chrome. So many people would be annoyed by that, but yeah. I was like, no, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've just been cleaning it for a little bit. So yeah, it's been a really cool day. We're going to head on our way. Cannot wait just to get back in the Audi R8 and cruise on home. I'm still getting used to it. You think it looks ridiculous on the road. It as looks well. insane. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon. Hey.